hottest rising stars on the rock scene today. And not only that, they're from Philadelphia. Their star is about to rise even higher because the Hooters have just signed a recording contract with Columbia Records. And joining us now on Noon Break are two members of the Hooters, Rob Heinen and Eric Bazilian. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi. Well, you guys have been struggling for years, playing all around here, and you're about to hit the big time now with this recording contract. Mm. What are we going to see? A <laughs> Hooters victory tour now in the, in the making? Um, it's on its way, yeah. <laughs> you know, hopefully. It starts small, but it is building in a nice way. Yeah. Yeah. What's it look like? I mean, what's the difference? Struggling for a long time and now this? What's well, it feel like? Well, it's still struggling. You always struggle, and the more successful you are, I think the more you have to keep struggling. You started out appealing to an older crowd, you know, playing in a lot of taverns, some universities, but over this summer you've really appealed to the high school group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a great change for us too because there's a, um, we, we were getting a lot of airplay on the radio stations, but the kids couldn't uh, get into the clubs to see us, you know, that were under 21, so um, the last year especially we've played a lot of schools that were a little hesitant to have shows. <laughs> They, weren't, they didn't know what they were getting into, but it's worked out great, and um, that's a great audience for the band, and the shows have been terrific. How would you describe your music? Um, we'd rather leave that to someone else to do. Yeah. <laughs> there are enough critics out there who are anxious to do that. Is it going to be changing at all with this new recording contract, or pretty much the same? Well, it's always changing. Yeah. I think it's just kind of continuing along its upward climb. Mm -hmm. Now, WMMR ran a contest where they expected about a million responses from high school students and ended up getting 25 million responses. That must have made you feel really good. How did that all come out? Uh, amazing. They're still counting the cards, I believe. Uh, the, the essence of the contest was to win a free co concert with the band and a thousand dollars for their library. So the band was really into it. And they basically just sent in cards that were all handwritten. And as you said, they got over 25 million. Uh, there's, and two schools, that I think, that are tied for first, each sent over three million each. So it's, I think it's one of the largest radio promotions that they ever had, so, and then uh, you'll be playing a concert at the school. Yeah, that a wins. free show, yeah. That'll be a big so, deal. We still don't know who won yet. We're waiting yeah. to find out. <laughs> it's great. How is Philadelphia for beginning rock stars? Good place to be? Uh, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Philadelphia probably has the best um, hometown music scene of any major city in the country. Definitely more so than New York. Mm -hmm. We have a built-in audience, people who are always anxious to see what, what's coming and like to go out and have a good time. And, see live music and yeah. buy records. Yeah. So you won't ever leave here, even when you hit a big, you keep coming back, right? Absolutely. Uh, right. Well, you know, there's a lot of places we want to get to, and we've done a lot of work in New York. Uh, we're recording in New York, and it's great up there. But like Eric says, the scene here is, uh, especially for music, it's a great music town, and either, even other bands that come here, I think, know that. Uh, the audiences are great, the radio stations support it, so it's a, it's a healthy place. Now, you both had a lot of input into Sidney Lauper's big hit, Time After Time. Rob, you co-wrote it. Yeah. Are you going to be doing more of that? What, what do you want to get into now? Uh, well, the, the band is our main thing. We're hard at work mm -hmm. on the album now, and then we will be playing, and I guess touring, you know, we're doing a video. A lot of things are coming up, so the band is the priority. Um, so our fans should know that, but uh, I don't know what Cindy's plans are, but, you know, we might be involved with her next record. They, they haven't really even started yet, so... Okay, well, lots of luck to both of you guys and your group. We'll be Thank looking you. for you. We have something for you. Oh, you do? Yes, we have the New Year's edition of the Hooters <laughs> The Hooter T-shirt. Oh, how much fun. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll wear it. <laughs> Maybe to the Mummers Parade. Oh, good. I'm sure it'll be a big hit there. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks a lot. Well, now let's take And Of course, you're both back in your hometown to perform before a sold-out audience at the Towner Theater in New Year's.